Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. And in this video, I want to just show Shortly versus Jarvis, or Jarvis versus Shortly. Uh, the idea is that I get asked this question so often that I just felt like putting everything into kind of a video here so that I can provide this as the answer when that question gets asked. Uh, I don't really like the term versus here because, I mean, technically... Shortly AI and Jarvis, they're owned by the same company. They're a family of products now. So I like to think of Shortly as kind of the little sister to Jarvis. Uh, it's very powerful, super capable. And you can tell that Jarvis boss mode is basically inspired by the Shortly AI UI, which is okay because they purchased Shortly and it's their prerogative to put Shortly within Jarvis. That's kind of what this is. You tell you get a title, content, content brief, description over here. Same thing as shortly where you get the article brief. Uh, and then the output length is, you know, three choices. Um, but that's fine. You know, it's a nice, simple UI intended to help you write long form content. And all the power is there kind of under the surface in shortly, right? You write something, you run commands, you let the AI take over and write for you. Uh, if you're coming from the Jarvis community, that's what boss mode is. The shortly AI community has had this for several months now. So the question is, you know, which one? Which one do you use? And I think it boils down to what do you get out of it? You know, if you're in a situation where your writing is earning revenue and you can see an ROI for spending the, uh, the what Jarvis uh, costs, then... I'd go for Jarvis. You know, if it's a business of yours, like maybe you have a team or, um, you know, you just want to be better prepared for the future as Jarvis uh, continues to improve and do different things than shortly AI. Um, and, you know, like I said, you're making money from your writing, then I would, I would pick Jarvis if it fits in your budget, basically. If it doesn't, I would say go with shortly AI. It's a lower, lower price alternative still exceptionally powerful and it's not going away anytime soon uh, that is straight from the Jarvis team they don't plan to turn it down turn it off anytime soon now granted if OpenAI comes up and says that they need to turn it off that might happen but that's up to OpenAI not under the control of the Jarvis team I still recommend going with shortly if you can't afford Jarvis or if it doesn't fit for your needs Right now, Jarvis is not significantly more powerful than Shortly AI. It has a few different things, like you can um, add seats if you have a team that you need to be using these tools with and stuff like that. Uh, it has templates. If you're at a point in your article that, for whatever reason, you just can't quite get Jarvis boss mode to give you the content that you need at that point in your article, you can, you can flip over into power mode. Just like this, you hit power mode and you get the templates and you can find the template that might find uh, or might produce the specific content that you need at that point in your article and that'll help you out. Um, and basically, uh, Jarvis is going to continue to improve long term. So in the, if you're content, if you're in a situation where maybe you're just a, just a blogger, you're a solo blogger, and you know you might get to the point where you earn revenue and you might even start earning enough revenue to afford Jarvis but if all you're doing is writing blog posts you might not need something as powerful as Jarvis I would say watch the features if you start getting to the point where you're uh, reaching the end of your subscription and you're just wondering if you want to renew shortly um, you could probably check the features and, and compare Jarvis at that point I mean Jarvis and shortly at that point and if you think that there's something that Jarvis offers you that you want to take advantage of at that point, then make the change to Jarvis. Um, let's just do a, a little bit of a demo here. This is not something that you'd probably really do in your writing because uh, you'd probably plan out your writing a little bit better, but I'm going to put this into both products and give me some topics to write about. Command enter will run this on Jarvis how to integrate social media, how, why are blog posts so important, okay. And then over here, you highlight it, command enter, and it will wrap it in instruct command and perform the same thing. How I got my first job, copywriting a beginner's guide, 
five ways to rock your, I like that, it's pretty good. Uh, every once in a while, Shortly will ask you how well it did. Uh, when you answer that, you help Shortly improve over time. So there you go. There's some some answers or some, some, some topics to try and write about. Let's say five ways to rock your next presentation. We'll make this our title, right? And now we want a an article an article brief inside of inside of shortly, right? I'm just going to go ahead and run this. This should create an article brief for us. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So you just cut this, put it into the article brief. And then let's do a content content brief over here for Jarvis. And let's just use the same topic just to just to keep things enough the same. Take these things out, get them out of the way, because Jarvis will see that and use them. And command enter to run that. Write an article about how public speaking can be one of the most terrifying things for people. There are a lot of ways you can approach your or approach your speech. Let me undo that because I have this set to small, shorter. One thing that's different between Shortly and Jarvis is when you run a command, this output length affects how long the content is coming back from the commands as well. Under Shortly, that doesn't. That's not true. The command will return as much as it needs to return to kind of answer what it's trying to answer. Uh, so I'll switch that to medium and, and go ahead and run this again. Rehearse in front of a mirror, you want to dress appropriately. Okay. It's a pretty decent um, content brief. Let's put that in there. Go back over here and grab this again because I forgot to paste it into here. Okay. Um, now we want uh, write. Let's see if this works. Write an introduction. And just write an introduction. That's it. It should be writing it about... Hmm... All right, I was, I was thinking that it should pick up on the content brief and the title, but, all right, write an oh, introduction for. I just kind of want uh, some content here. Okay going on and on but um, again like I said this isn't content necessarily that you would use I'm just trying to show kind of the difference here that between these two tools and let's say write an introduction for make sure to copy that so we can see the same command running on both okay Starts talking about confidence. There might be something in here. Yep. Okay. All right. So we got that. Now let's let's create an outline. And shortly, that outline will look like this. Okay. Shortly, starting to rock. Talk about confidence, but I guess in some ways that's about you know speech. You need to be confident. Uh, I would probably. Tweak that to fit the narrative thread that you're trying to write throughout this article. But uh, let's see what we can get here with Jarvis. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just trying to show you some of the differences between the two tools. But basically, as you can see, Shortly and Jarvis, they're both pretty powerful tools. You can get quite a lot out of either one. And in order to make that decision, it's it's something that you need to make on your own. If, if you're in the place where you can afford Jarvis and your writing is going to cover the costs of Jarvis anyways, I would say go for Jarvis long term. It's going to continue to grow and get better and get, bring new features. But if you're content with the way Shortly works and you want it to kind of, you don't want your tool to change, you want it to stay the same and, and stay nice and minimal. And um, that's what Shortly is going to be. Uh, 
the Jarvis team says that they'll maintain shortly. So if there's any kind of open AI changes, they'll tweak shortly to make sure to follow the rules or to update the API calls and things like that. They'll probably even tweak the, the inputs in the background so that shortly can get a little bit better at writing too, but it's not going to change the UI or anything like that or, or add any major components or features to shortly over time, but you'll get that just, you'll get that minimal, amazing writing interface. Um, just like you have right here inside of Jarvis, same minimal interface essentially right here in Jarvis. And so it's just up to you, whichever you prefer. I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the uh, comments section below. I'd be glad to help you out. And until next time, take care.